what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more the walking dead season 4 episode 5 is here today yes sir and in the last episode I did something happened that I did not like I did not agree with um, Rick banishing Carol um, I, I really did not I did not agree with that I think is probably going to be <laughs> um, one of the worst decisions that he's made you know um, you know I was just <laughs> I was calling it bad writing because I didn't agree with it um, you know it's it's not necessarily bad writing let me just outright say that it, it was not bad writing um, I do think, th though, that, you know, when you establish a character as, as solid as how they have established Rick, it's, it's very hard to fathom, it's very hard to understand why Rick would make this decision, um, knowing that, you know, he has done things in the past that are that are questionable but i've said that you know as a leader sometimes you got to make those tough decisions you know um i don't think this is one of them i think this is a this is a situation where he could have he, he could have understood i expected his character to understand but it was a bad to me it was a bad decision um based on who we've come to know rick who you know what i'm saying the type of person that he is so um people are going to be quest i guess now he's going to tell people why carol is not there anymore um hopefully he doesn't lie and say something happened to her um hopefully he tells them the truth and you know because she's not there you know maybe you know i, I guess ty will probably still be upset i don't know but the way how rick went about with that conversation and said he she's he's afraid of um her being around carl and the baby you know little ass kicker is our judith is it's just crazy to me it's just crazy to me that he went from a person that he could trust as i've explained in my last review when i said nobody knew you Are you <laughs> you know what i'm saying when you came to the group nobody knew you but everybody has come to know you and trust you you get what i'm saying and you've made mistakes you have i, I remember when I, I think it was at the end of season two when he declared dictatorship and everybody just went along with it nobody tried to banish you they didn't come together and say let's get rid of rick nobody did you get what i'm saying so i think kyle deserved much more than what she got you get what I'm saying? And that's the reason why I was saying it just kind of bad writing in just a teeny tiny bit. It wasn't like a a big deal where I said it's a big gaff in, in, in it, but it, it wasn't. It was a decision that I was that I just did not agree with. But um here we are again today. Episode five of season four. So let's go see what they have in store, what's gonna be the aftermath, see if um they get um, Ty and and them, see if they get back home, um, to the prison safely. Let's go watch it. And I will see you guys right back here for the review. All right, so that episode was dramatic. <laughs> Traumatic, to be exact. I mean, um... Nobody from the main cast died. So that's good. Um, I thought we would have at least lost one of them during that episode, but no. Didn't lose anyone. We lost people, but it's all a bunch of no-name people that we don't really know that was introduced to us at the beginning of the season that apparently just appeared out of nowhere. But... <laughs> I'm just making fun. Anyways, um, so 
Glenn is okay after all the debacle, so that's good to know. Um, but what I'm waiting on, or, or let me talk about some events and some things that I felt like they could have handled differently. Um, you know, I talked about during the episode the, 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 the situation with the fence, right? I guess you don't want to attract more walkers. I get that with the noise. And stuff like that. I really do. I really do get that. But I think when it got too much. When they were trying to prop up the fence with the wood. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't. I, I didn't think that was a great solution. I, 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 it, was a, it, was, it is a good idea. But I don't think it was the greatest solution they could have came up with. I do think that since they had. I know they don't want to waste ammo. If they don't have to. But I would have made that suggestion. If I was in the show, if I was, you know what I'm saying? I would have made that suggestion. Let's just mow them down, buy ourselves some time to reinforce the fence because you can't be trying to prop something up. And t I'm telling you this from experience. You can't be trying to prop something up or to reinforce something when there's weight on it. It's a bad idea. It's just a bad idea. You can do it, but it's just harder. You get what I'm trying to say? So, um, seemed like it was working at first, but then it turns out it's now work. And then it, now both of them was in trouble. And, you know, good thing they got out of there safe to get to the guns. And, and you know what I'm saying? So, cool beans, cool beans. Situation that was happening inside the prison with Herschel and them um, was not really an, avoid, uh, an uh, um, avoidable situation. You know, um, the only problem that I have with that it was that it was only Herschel um, that was in there that was kind of walking around taking care of everybody, which, you know what I'm saying, eventually became the problem. He didn't want Maggie in there. I get, I, I get why. You know what I'm saying. Um, he could have easily. I mean, some of the times you look at that situation and and, and you're like, he could he could have easily been that everybody in there got turned, got bit by that one person that they weren't watching. You know what I mean? Um. That guy, that is his son, I believe, that was dead in the cell and was like, oh, I don't want you to check on him. The minute he said that, I knew his son was dead. He talked about he was sleeping or whatever. He's another problem. You know what I'm saying? That could have caused things to get out of hand. Ended up that his son is the one that got him. So he caused his own death. In it, 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 You know, it's tough. It's tough because, you know, family respond different to family, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's easier to put a bullet in the brain of somebody you don't know than your own people that you actually know and love. It's it's a totally different dynamic, so I get it. Um, but I am yet to see what's going to be the interaction. I'm guessing we're going to see that in the next episode, in episode six. So I'm looking forward to it to see what is going to be the interaction between Daryl and Rick because... That can't be no easy conversation to have. I don't want to see, I don't want to see Daryl being okay with this. Like, I don't want to see that because if that happens, if he's, if, if Daryl responds the same way that Maggie reacted, I'm going to have a serious problem with this show going forward. And I'm telling you that, telling you guys that straight up right now, I'm going to have a serious problem with it because you can't be building up this amazing chemistry between two characters and think there's no way. I, I believe that what should happen is Daryl either questioning his leadership or getting angry and leaving to go look for Carol. I want to see. I want to see one of one of either two. So that's what I'm looking forward to. But anyways, we'll see what happens in episode six. So. Um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say 
towards this episode and what I want to see in the next. So um, it's a dire situation that they're in, man. And I'm hoping that whatever supplies that the guys bring back help them to nurse them back to health um, and to get the, the survivors back healthy and away from this, whatever it is, a flu or whatever it is that's haunting them other than the walkers so i'll see you guys later man remember to like leave a comment man you guys don't leave comment on these walking dead videos man it's like one one person and kitty cat shout out to kitty cat man for leaving comments on all of the walking dead videos man um um so yeah i want you guys to start commenting man you guys leave likes but <laughs> I need you guys to leave comments, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys later, man. Terabyte Reacts out.